What is going on everybody? Creeper here and today we're going to be actually discussing some of the DLC plans for GTA and my thoughts and ideas on where I think it should go. Uh, over the past couple months or so we've been receiving drip feed stuff for uh, uh, Formula One open wheel races is what GTA has been dubbing it. At least that's what it's in the coding wise. That's what we've been seeing in drip feed. With that, I, I, we haven't received it yet. The order that we got all of our drip feed stuff and it was supposed to be, we were already supposed to have the Formula One cars and it's actually been rumored that we we're supposed to get these back during like the cunning stunts update. What it seems right now is going on though is I don't think Rockstar really has an idea of how they should implement these into the game. So one of the first things I'm actually going to talk about is a couple of locations that I've thought about, you know, long and hard, trying to get an idea of, uh, I mean, with the casino update, we've actually seen that Rockstar has proved that they can change mass areas of the game at one time, you know, and it just come in as a, a, a you know, a fairly sized update. So, I mean, this is, the casino has been a major game changing part of the game, you know, at least the game that we play up to this point. So one of the things that I think that Rockstar needs to do first is go through the game because, I mean, if you look at it, there's only one racetrack in the entire game, and it's a dirt track for horses that we never received. Uh, it was rumored that horses were supposed to be in online, and so were, like, all sorts of animals who were supposed to be able to hunt and all that back whenever the game was first, you know, rumored about. And uh, that never came to happen. We never got animals in, inside of online. You know, it pretty much made the race, the horse track useless. And whenever you're in the casino, there's virtual horse racing. I mean, there's no actual horse racing going on. So I think what we should do is Rockstar should go through and completely redo this area of the track. And I mean, there's areas around the, the track where it's already got stands, update those a little bit, make it to where it's more intuitive with, you know, the online player. And make it to where the racetrack itself is actually a paved surface. It's got both, you know, an oval track or maybe even a tribal track. I've actually got a, uh, a little map that I made out just the in paint just to kind of map out what would be possible uh, a little bit of the area around it is uh, kind of low lying up until like the edge of the mountain and there's also a uh, a, a little reservoir trail coming out or a, the relief trail coming from the dam I think you could update that entire area right there completely change that one quadrant of the map make it 20 times better make the diamond casino really fit into that block and just really update that area of Vinewood. And using that track right there, it'd be usable to a public lobby or even somebody who's already went through and threw down checkpoints and made a race out of it. And if you give it both an oval track, a road course, and like maybe an area for a drag strip, I actually accounted for one, but I don't know if it's really long enough and I don't know if uh, it can really be implemented with adding banking to the track because, I mean, whenever you got road cars like or, uh, the Hot Ring Racer or even the F1 cars coming on, any GT car, banking helps. You always need banking whenever you're doing high speeds. A little bit more banking means you can haul ass. And I just think that entire area is just untapped potential. I think Rockstar should use that and, like, completely rechange that area of the map. Make it usable to us at all times. Because then it would also add a more use to the penthouses too, how they've got the windows on both sides of the the penthouse. You can actually see like out to Vinewood and see like the, the lights and cityscapes and on the other side you're looking at a dead track with lights. I mean nothing ever happens without the track. So now you could actually look out and see people like doing a track day or something or just like somebody doing drag races with friends. I mean anything's possible now and it makes it just where you could pop into a public lobby and just look over and see what people are doing kind of makes it where, you know, you can tell a little bit faster if you're in a hostile or a, a friendly environment. Another area out in Grand Sonora Desert I've been looking at a lot, it could fit a, a big racetrack. I haven't made a map of this just because it's really hard for me to draw it up, and like this entire area would be need to be a little bit updated because there's a, a, a shopping strip there. That would have to be moved more to the, towards the corner, the track would have to be like mapped around it, but I feel like a large-scale oval, like a little bit bigger than the one out at a, out at the casino could fit here perfectly, but really anything could fit. And just doing this little block here means that we can even, uh, it's close enough to where Sandy Shores Airport's right down the road. We can update Sandy Shores Airport a little bit, 
you know, make it where it's more of a municipal airport instead of just some hole-in-the-wall airport, you know, help kind of make uh, air travel a little bit more uh, used, I guess, or more welcomed, I guess. It's hard to really, you know, get across what I'm saying right here. Uh, but you can entwine this into the track, or you can even make it to where it's a completely separate entity and just kind of away from the track, just a little bit to where I'm, it, it helps logistically, I guess. But I just think a, a large-scale racetrack in this area would be great, especially just because it's in the kind of center of the desert, and there's not much out there. There's not really a... I mean, there's a couple of smaller trailers, but, I mean, you could clear out this area here. There's not really much there. There's not even really any, any big dunes, so it, you wouldn't be doing any major terraforming. You'd be more or less just flattening that area. Polito Bay is kind of hard to work with just because of how many smaller areas there are, but you could easily put... a uh, like a small dirt track or uh, even just a small track kind of based on like the old Lucas Oil Speedway where it's, it has no inner walls and it can kind of just like free form the interior of the track to where I mean you could do figure eight racing you could do death matches in this area and like actually set up monster truck events like we've been doing recently and you'll probably see later on in this video uh, it just kind of opens up the options I mean it'd be a short track but I mean, it, it's another racetrack, and it kind of helps, you know, justify, you know, adding more race cars and helping implement more racing into it and kind of demilitarizing the game in a way. Or at least making it to where it's more or less a, uh, more of another playing option and adding more, more role play into the game. One area that I think is completely untapped, I mean, just completely stripped of all of its potential right now where it stands, is the Maze Bank Arena. All you can do is Arena Wars. One thing that I really want to see is a completely basic, like, grass field interior, a completely basic dirt field interior. Maybe do, like, you know, still base it on the apocalyptic and the futuristic in a way, or even just do it completely generic. But also do it to where it's, like, a little bit banked around the edges or whatever, and uh, make it, basically make it where you can do things like a, a Rocket League in the middle of just a blank arena, or even have a standard racetrack kind of based on the uh, the uh, nightmare themed track or even the futuristic themed track you know where it's got a, a fairly good amount of banking where you can have high speed racing or whatever but the cars aren't like always going to be bottoming out and sliding around you know and kind of bring it more towards the wall and put the pits in the middle just to where people aren't just like flying off the track and trying to get into the pits you know, I, I think that would be a really good idea and make it to where people would be able to use the Maze Bank Arena for a lot more stuff in the creator. Finish the motocross track, please. There's construction there. Either build something there or finish the motocross track. You know, I mean, it, it's so sketchy. It's there. It, it, it has potential and it's kind of just, it, it feels almost useless. It feels like people, whenever they try to use it, it's just... It, it had the potential, but you just can never fully tap. And I feel like if they were to finish it or just put a stadium or even a racetrack or a, a racing complex, because there's area around that place, too, if you go towards uh, the south of the map or the south uh, the southeast tip of that area, there's a little bit of flatter land out there. You could easily add a, a small racetrack out there, too. The only thing is it'd be in close proximity to uh, both the, the Grand Sonora Desert, if that were to happen, and also the... Uh, the casino. Uh, paving McKenzie Airfield would be a good idea in the long run. Uh, you could have drag races out there. You could also like you know connect a couple of little taxiways or carways or anything and make it to where there could be racing out there or even just make it more of a used airport. But where it stands right now, I don't really see like touching McKenzie Airfield is a liable option. But there are areas around Grapeseed that are a little bit flatter and just, you know, farmlands and just... Uh, at this point in the game, uh, we're past the point of, like, where we were in the story mode. So the O'Neill's farm shouldn't be existent right now. Let's make it a racetrack. Why not? Or even just one of the areas around it. We could have a small racetrack out in uh, Grape Seed, and it would, it'd be really nice, I'm sure. I mean, it wouldn't have to be much out there. Just something to where we have you know, an extra thing to do out in free mode with race cars. Alright, so the cat in the closet here. Formula One. The thing that everybody wants to talk about right now. So we've been getting some drip feed stuff and so far we've only gotten the Ocelot R88 and the Progen PR4. 
the R88, I feel like it's it, it's too retro. It's an older style car. Uh, it it doesn't fit in with the PR4, so it feels uh, it almost feels kind of wrong running them both against each other. However, if we're going to do this, we might as well go ahead and add a couple more because we've made open wheel its own class. Uh, I, Pegasi doesn't have an F1 car in here, and they're a supercar manufacturer, and Grotti doesn't have a car in here, Vapa doesn't have a car in here, Emperor could use a car in here, uh, Overflood, Cheval could actually kind of use a car in there, uh, Lamp and Dotty, all these different brands don't have an open wheel car yet, and I feel like with an open wheel class only having two cars is kind of a joke, so I... I assume that Rockstar is going to continue on to add at least, you know, two or three more of these cars. And I feel like, you know, Grotti and Pegasi should definitely be looked into and probably vapid. Uh, and if you were to add more, go ahead and, like, I mean, mix it up. Make sure you add both modern and retro so we can kind of class it out. Like, if we were to do it based on actual age or if we were to run them all together, like, you know, keep them, keep them on par with each other. But... You know, do both modern and retro, or just modern, please. I mean, we're in supposed to be in like 2016, 2017 in this game, if not, you know, 2018 to present. Let's let's get it a little bit more modern, please, especially with the racing. The pit stop mechanic doesn't seem to work much, but I think it's just because drip feed. However, if it, we were to do pit stop mechanics, uh, because we, we just received a, a new uh, creator tile in the creator and it's got little areas for it but the pit lanes don't really do anything unless you're in a gta race and you still have to place down you know the health the health pickups so i think if we we're to you know make it to where you just park in those things if you were to sit stationary for like you know three seconds or if you were to like honk the horn or whatever or just press a button and hold it for a minute it replaces your tires maybe if we were to add fuel consumption to race cars in races you know it fills up your fuel you take off and you know it, it just adds another it makes it where you have to add that strategy to you know formula one uh, but it also helps you know make it to where we're justifying because the formula one cars have tire wear the tires will blow after a certain amount of laps and uh, another con of complaint here is like I, I still feel like it's because it's drift feed they haven't really had time to really mess with it yet uh, but what i've noticed is like one set of tires will last like 20 miles and then if you're to switch from soft to hard you get like you know an extra 30 miles over the 20 miles that you get originally with the soft tires and i think that's just like way too ridiculous of a, a gap there i think they should like you know kind of close in that gap and make it to where it's like you know only a 15 to 20 mile difference from the the best tire to the worst tire in fact i think that they should add a wet tire compound too and make it where you can switch tire compounds mid-race because then it would add a whole nother kind of strategy to open wheel racing and make it to where people could really like, you know, uh, they can conserve themselves at the beginning of the race and really charge, or they could charge at the beginning of the race and just try to keep a gap going on. I mean, it, it makes it to where the racing can really vary throughout the, the, the length of the event. So I have been talking about Hot Ring a lot. Hot Ring has been in the game for at least two or three years now. And I'm glad that they added it in the game, but they used the Sabre GT, which is just completely irrelevant. Uh, the GT model, or the Sabre model that they used actually came from GTA 4, or it's based on the car from GTA 4, the Sabre that was used in that game. Uh, it's based on the Sabre and GTA 4. And uh, it, <laughs> we don't have that version of the Sabre in-game. So I think that we should at least, if we're going to keep it like, you know like time correct with the hot ring racer or at least like you know body style correctness we should add in a faction hot ring racer however going back to what i said with the f1 stuff we should try to keep it a little bit more modern and i think that we should actually rework hot ring to where you can actually change either the body panels and change what the car looks like it's based on so you can go from a Sabre GT to another car or even make different versions of the hot ring based on these new style of cars and keep them kind of on par with each other and you know they would have all had their own like different handling and top speed acceleration differences and make them all you know kind of better for one thing as opposed to the other but for the most part they'd all still be on par with each other uh, 
but these cars I've got in mind that I think we should see come into Hot Ring. The Gauntlet. It doesn't matter if it's regular Gauntlet or Gauntlet Hellfire. Let's make a Gauntlet Hot Ring Racer. Uh, the Dominator. It doesn't matter if it's just the Dominator, the Dominator GTX. Dominator Hot Ring Racer. The Sentinel. I don't care if it's Sentinel, Sentinel XS. I feel like Sentinel XS would be a better pick. They'd probably have to have like a different based engine to, you know, like different handling stats from a, a completely different car. Just because I believe that the engine that it's based on a V6 instead of like the V8 that would be in the Dominator of the Gauntlet. But I feel like the Sentinel XS or even the Sentinel itself as a body style would definitely look good on a hot ring field. Another car that I believe would look amazing against all these other competitors, the Cheval Fugitive. A very underlooked car in the entire game. I mean, there's not that many customization options with it. It's based on a Chevy SS, Holden Commodore, the Pontiac G8. I mean, it, it, it's a race car by, by design. So, I mean, maybe a hot ring racer out of it would be a pretty good option. And, of course, with this, bring in some more liveries to, you know... Make it to where we can have a, a little bit more customization options with the new cars and all that. And of course, adding in a, maybe the tire wear. When, at least whenever you're in a race, adding tire wear into a factor with Hot Ring Racers. Make, maybe make Hot Ring its own specific class, like stock car class or something like that. Or even just a race car class. But I think we should start adding in tire wear and maybe even fuel fuel of consumption into racing just to you know kind of make it where whenever we're running longer races it adds that bit of strategy and Rockstar can kind of justify paying a little bit more in these races now. Definitely definitely want to see EMS level 5. Let's crank up hot ring just a little bit more you know I, I want to be running around like all these tracks that I'm running doing like 140 145 mile an hour in a draft train. I think that'd be awesome. Just saying that right now. And another idea for hot ring. Why not hot ring trucks? I mean, this is kind of a laughable subject here, but I mean, why not? I mean, the the Vapid Saddler, the, the Class Yosemite, the Bravado Bison, and maybe the the Everon. I'm not so sure on that one yet. At least the first three. I think they would all make really great race trucks if you were to put them like you know on the tubular chassis with the sheet metal bodies and just you know make them loosely resemble the car, at least closely resemble the car. Uh, you know, I mean, they don't have to be completely spot on. I know we're getting the drift Yosemite soon, but, I mean, it would be really cool to have a hot ring racer variant of all these cars. And trucks. Okay, so now we're going to start uh, talking about something that I... Something I still think that we should get in the game. Go-karts. It doesn't matter who makes it, but I do want to see, like, you know, if one comes in, I think two should come in, or at least... Yeah, two. Maybe three. But, I mean, Shitsu, Nagasaki, Dinka, all of them are good brands that would be, you know, suitable to actually have a race go kart. So I think that'd be cool to just to see it come in a game. And it would also justify another kind of racetrack that you could, you know, put in a smaller area or even just go kart racing, you know? Because we used to have go karts in San Andreas, and those were so fun, and we don't have those anymore. It makes me sad. I'm going to cover a couple of ideas that I've had with motorcycles real quick just because we're already on the subject of different forms of racing. Uh, more motorcycle drag conversions like the Beatty, the Double T, the Akuma, the Vader. I think those would make really suitable drag bikes and I feel like there should be a drag race conversion for them. And with a lot of the, the same bikes and a couple of other ones like uh, the Akuma, the Double T, the Vader, and the Carbon RS making RR conversions with livery and all that, so we can run them against, you know, the Beatty 801RRs, and they're no longer the only road bike with, you know, proper livery on them for racing. Yeah, that's just something that's always bothered me. And how about bringing in, like, the Energy 500 or 900 from either San Andreas or GTA 4? You know, a bike that was made for racing. Let's bring that back in the game. Uh, because, I mean, the PCJ600, it, it's a weak bike. It's it's long it's long gone of people's old favorites. Let's bring on a race bike. Bring on a new race bike. Uh, the Sanchez and the BF 400. These are some old dirt bikes here, and the only real dirt bikes in the game. They don't have but a few liveries. I mean, the Sanchez has the same five liveries, and it's had the same five liveries since the game was released. And one of them you can't even buy. And, uh, until you actually own the bike. 
and then the other one only has two liveries, and it it, it just I, I feel like there should be a couple more. You know, I feel like it's it's just something that's underlooked, but I feel like on a role play standpoint, there there are people who actually look out for things like that, and people like to make a, a different looking version of something that everybody else has. You know, it adds that personality thing. And why are there only two uh, two dirt bikes? I feel like we should at least see a Nagasaki or a Dinka come in, or even a Shih Tzu. You know, I feel like there should be at least one more dirt bike jump in. You know, add a little bit more uh, implementation of motocross stuff. Uh, shot in the dark, maybe top fuel dragsters or m dragster mods for muscle cars or specific cars. But uh, this is, like I said, shot in the dark. It'd be really hard to impl Im implicate this, and like, there's no real way to. The way that GTA is set up, how they have a length re requirement for drag races and things like that, and there's no real way to do bracket racing. It dragsters would be hard to do. It'd be more of a free mode thing, but it's just something to think about. So I do want to say this right now: all the cunning stunts and prior race cars, they need more liveries. They need. You know, they're all just completely overlooked. Uh, this includes things like uh, the Omnis, the Rally, all of the the, the Sprunk Buffalo. The I, I saw they tried to make it better with the uh, the Bravado Gauntlet with the Hellfire livery. And I'd like to see that happen a little bit more, but like we didn't see it with the Dominator GTX. Come on, guys, let's uh, let's get a little bit more going on right there. Uh, the Coquette, completely unloved. I think there should be a, a GT version of it, you know, a full-on race car. At least add some liveries and maybe a couple more upgrades for it. Make it Benny's car, maybe. That'd be cool. Uh, same goes for the SC1. I feel like that's a completely overlooked supercar as well. No liveries, not many upgrade options. I feel like that should be on the racetrack, especially considering, I mean, the, they both, the Entrero and uh, uh, Benefactor both, they don't really have many race cars. I feel like they should be jumping into that a little bit here soon. The Raiden Trophy Truck, as I said before, need more liveries. The Jester, the Masakro, they both need liveries. The Buffalo S is just completely overlooked. I, the same with the Sentinel and the Felter. I think they should add, uh, do a couple more things for those guys too. And uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here just because of how long it's getting. Uh, I did have a whole nother thing about going into like a adding in a basically a non hostile style MOC but it could be hauled both uh, you know by a lightly armored or non armored semi truck you know adding into where you could have a custom packer alongside of the phantom and the hauler maybe bringing in the line runner again or uh, the road train or you know maybe a new semi altogether uh, you could do something like a, a toter home or even a mobile garage with like a pounder customs or terabyte base you know at least use the benefactor front part uh, there's so many different options that you could do for that I'm not going to cover it completely I mean you could even have it to where it's tow options kind of like how whenever the uh, the AA gun spawns the mobile turret spawns with a, a saddler you could kind of do it to where you have a specific custom truck that you customize and you select it as your haul vehicle for a specific trailer type basically uh, you could have it to where you'd have trailers that could be hauled by you know trucks and you'd have trailers that would be hauled by semi and then there would also be you know all that different stuff and basically it would all have different kind of bays you'd have living quarters lounges kind of the way they have it set up with the MOC but a little bit different and a little bit more oriented towards like a actual mobile living quarters and mobile garage and car hauler you know uh, with the MOC, you can only carry up to one car. I think it'd be cool to have it where you could carry two cars with these, up, maybe even up to three if you could, or two cars and uh, have like a toy hauler to where you could actually carry bicycles and a motorcycle or hell, even a go kart. That'd be a really good way to, you know, get that going too. But I mean, there's so many different ideas, and also making it where you could have uh, personal mobile RVs too, to where you could even have your entire tow rig set up to where it's. You know, just a two-car hauler, and then you're, you're actually pulling it with your camper. So you have your living quarters as your tow vehicle, and then your mobile garage behind you. 
uh, make it to where it helps with the RP aspect and people could just transport race cars without having to worry about them getting damaged when it, before they even get to a racetrack. You know, just something to think about adding in and or if we were to actually go f forward with you know adding a a more racial oriented DLC, then this would definitely be one of the major things to add in. You know, at least to consider. So yeah, I guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, if you want to hear more about this kind of stuff, I mean, go ahead and leave a like. Tell me what you think. I think I had mixed reviews last time I did this. I decided I'd try to do it again. See if people actually uh, wanted to get more of an updated kind of idea. And, you know, all these ideas right here, along with, like, all the DLCs, I feel like should all carry over into GTA 6 too. Or if uh, GTA 6 is based in Vice City and, you know, South America-esque areas, you know... Uh, Whenever Project America comes on, like keeping these tracks and keeping all of these updates. I mean, you've already built up an entire universe with your cars, and I, uh, I would assume you only plan on keeping them. So, I mean, in the end, in goal, I would assume that Rockstar would want to have a game where it's essentially their own universe on a large scale. Basically, it makes it to where, like, in the future of GTA, people can kind of choose how they play and choose who they play with a little bit better than how they do it now and make it to where, like, uh, like, you would be paired more with people who are race-oriented rather than people who are just, you know, after KD ratios and militarized vehicles. These are just ideas that I've had for a while. So, yeah, guys, uh, uh, later. <laughs>